afternoon landing landing crew. We're gonna still call you our landing crew, it's fine. Lonnie and I are on the way to the land, so I really wanted to vlog this to share, as I'm also gonna be talking about how we keep, or going to keep, our kids safe on our land, because I know there's some special needs family that wants to do what we are going to do. Like, it's hard having neighbors, when you're a special needs family for many, many reasons. And so this is of course optimal for a lot of special needs families, not all of them. Some people just couldn't imagine living that far off. For some areas, it just isn't feasible because of course you need to still be close to therapies. Thankfully we are, but that's not the story for every location. We're going to show you and talk to you guys about what we will be doing to keep our little ones safe. For those who are just coming in, we have four autistic kids um 14 almost six three and two a lot of them do struggle with safety them being safe in basically the middle of nowhere is really important to us mainly we're going though because the tree service people were able to go out there and cut down the trees on the three three quarter acre where we're going to be building and all of that and i'll explain more there if you guys are wanting like updates about our homestead like literal updates go ahead and follow landing homestead it was landing lifestyle and that is where we are going to post um there's not going to be a lot of updates honestly until next summer because that's when they're going to start building over here on landing autism we will be showing you things that are imperative to special needs so that is what we're doing Lonnie's driving, like always. One, two, one, two, three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. So while we're driving up, I'm gonna kind of talk to you guys about some of the things that we are doing in place to protect the kiddos. Um, now, I know before I've shown like footage and I think some people misunderstood that that was not footage near our property. We tried to film away from our property for safety reasons. So there is only actually one area and it's far, far, far away from where our homestead will be. It's kind of like on a road, kind of like this. We're actually gonna be putting a rail there, not because we think that the kids would get there because I mean, it would, it's so far away, but but also we have to think about our teenagers driving and things like that, a hundred foot area. All the cows are out. <laughs> it is looking so beautiful out here. That's why we didn't choose the other property because the other property was literally just like everywhere was falling. <laughs> These slopes, the a valley. Of, a lot of rails we'd have to create. Yes, it would just be crazy. So where we bought all of like our slopes, the valley, all of those, those are things that if something happens to the kids and they did fall, they would roll down, but they would hit a tree before anything happened. It's not a steep fall or anything like that. I will kind of show you guys a little bit more. I will link down below the video that I did a sharing how we keep our kids safe in the house because that will continue over to our house that we end up building. We actually have not had anyone elope without us knowing it. Like it's one of those things that the door was open and we saw a kid go out kind of thing. So this is where we showed before. And this would obviously be an issue. But this is also miles from our land as well. I will show you a before video that I took. Does not even look like the same, the same area. This looks like there could be a house up here. So basically this is where our driveway. Our driveway goes up there and right here-ish, we will kind of have a gate. We plan to make this kind of a wall. It's hard to explain, but we're gonna basically flatten it all around. So we already have a gated community that you have to get in. But then once you're up here, we will have our driveway eventually someday. I think it's right here-ish. Right here-ish is where there will be a wall. And so we will be having a six to eight foot stone wall across the entire thing, which will keep wildlife from getting in, but also if our kids are playing outside, it keep them. So excavation will come in here and they will flatten a lot of this. This looks like this could literally, literally hold a house, guys. I will show you guys the before. No one's stopping now. 
gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make basically the rest, the rest Lonnie and I are gonna be taking care of. We are going through and finding what aspen trees are still good, but we wanted to keep all the pine trees. Ooh, you should find out about the burn ban. That would be a good idea. Basically, how we plan to do it is our normal securities in our house, which are pretty excessive. We have an alarm system. We have locks everywhere. <laughs> we have second alarms everywhere, like those little Amazon ones. Then even once they get out, they'll have a six to eight foot stone wall. Um, if for some reason they were able to breach that, then we also have another one um, near the driveway. I'll show you guys. Just cause I really haven't got to show you guys the property anyway. So for those who maybe don't wanna, don't wanna follow the whole process, but are kind of interested what, <laughs> what it all looks like. We have thought about a lot. That's why it took us so long to find a property because we kept wanting to be like, okay, would this be safe for the kids? Like what would happen? Like when you're living in the middle of nowhere, like these are things that you have to think of, right? So it just took us a long time to find a place that we felt would be safe for the kids as well. So this is where we will be clearing out. We own the valley. All of that over there is ours as well. So that is a little bit different. That slides down like this does. So it looks like it's like straight down, but it's not. Yes, they do struggle with safety awareness, but they're also cautious. Penelope will walk on a table and then stop, <laughs> not that I'm proud of this, but you know, kids do what kids do, and she'll stop before the edge. We also will have cameras, motion cameras. This is for the kids' safety as well as ours, because obviously wildlife and things like that. The stone wall is really, is really the safety. I don't see how or why the, they would be able to get out. Right, so basically in editing this, I realized I did leave out a few things just because I think I was just so excited to see everything. But basically, basically a lot of people have also asked because there is a seasonal creek on our property down in the valley. So a lot has asked like, is that safe? Is it gonna be okay? It To get down in the valley, it takes a lot of work. Like we hiked for hours one day and we didn't even reach the bottom. And also the seasonal creek is not deep enough. So that itself, we're not really doing anything specifically for that. Obviously the home protections is first, the wall is second, the other gate's third. We're doing a certain ledge thing to keep it from happening. That's fourth, cameras are fifth. Like we have a lot in place before they even get there. And so if they breached all of those, it would take such a long time and they would have to be purposely going towards it. And even if they reached it, it's not Deep enough where they could drown. Basically, it's just snow melt. We will eventually have a pond for fish, but that is going to be literally all the way like down, like at the very, very, very edge of our property. And we're building at the other edge. We will be fencing off that pond as well. So anything that has water, anything that could be dangerous, we are over, over, overthinking it just because we do want to make sure that this property is going to be safe for our kids. Now I am filming this one um, about a week after we actually went out to the property. And this, la this last week, a lot has changed. We've talked with architects. We've talked with our construction engineer about the budget and it's looking like we probably will not be able to start building until 2023 anyway just because we want to make sure that we're not rushing into things and that we aren't taking shortcuts just to get it done faster so overall i don't foresee us being able to build in 2022 which was a question mark anyway just because of the area we're going to be building in we have a very small selection of contractors that are willing to go up into the mountains and not charge us an arm and a leg so that's kind of where we're at there which is fine we our house we live in now fits us fine we're in a great school district um i love the school that lex goes to and that way when we do eventually move the two older kids will definitely be graduated from high school so that is, that is the update there, and let's go back in time. So that is kind of our plan. All right, guys, so we are done. We finished a little bit early, so I think we're going to go into town and do some fun things. We can't spend too long. Like, the camera just does not do it justice. Justice, I don't know what I'm saying. It's fine. Everything's fine. So we enjoyed our short little day 
We are going back home now um, as I'm pretty sure the babies are waking up from their nap. So we are going to go home and just take care of our normal stuff. I hope that answered anyone's questions. Obviously the whole point behind this or most of the point behind this is to provide our kids with their forever home. So we wanna make sure that they're gonna be safe there. So as we um, come into contact with things that just aren't gonna work for them or could be dangerous, we will of course um, kind of update that and update you guys if it's something that I feel can help others. Um, again, the only reason I'm sharing this on this channel is just because I do know that there are other families out there that wanna do the same thing or maybe you're already living in a situation and you want to think of things that could make them safer. I am so excited, I cannot believe how good how good it looks. We have been working so, so, so hard to do the perimeter around what we had kind of tied off. It's gonna start snowing soon. It's already started snowing a few times out there. So we're kind of on a time clock on it. So we'll see how it works out. We're meeting with the architect and that is that basically it. Um, I will only update things on this channel that are specific to special needs. So we will like, once our house is completely done, I would do an empty house tour and all that. But other than that, there's really not gonna be a lot. I have a lot of good videos. I wanna do it where basically I take a question and make a short video out of it. And that's really easy for me because I can take four or five questions and make four or five videos and then set them up for you guys. So if you have specific questions that you want answered and not just specifically about our family, but maybe about autism, like we're gonna do one on toe work walking and we're gonna do one on the difference between functional and non-functional words and things like that. So so if you have specific topics that you want me to cover, please comment below. I do these polls a lot on Instagram, but I know not everyone follows me on Instagram. So that is basically what we're doing. Um, thank you for coming along and I hope everyone has themselves an amazing week. I look in the mirror, who's looking back at me? I don't know what happened. Guess we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them But we got tired